Hey guys, welcome back to Mindfulness and Yoga with Amanda. If you've been feeling sluggish from staying home lately, you chose the right day to join me. Today we're going to focus on the sun's energy, how to tap into it, harness that energy, and alchemize it towards being creative and reaching our goals. Let's get into it. For your practice today, you're going to need a pillow or a stack of blankets and two yoga blocks. And if you're like me, you don't have yoga blocks, that's okay. You can just grab a couple books off the bookcase, something about this size. So go ahead and take a seat, an easy seated position, or sukhasana. In Sukhasana, the main goal is to make sure that our knees are just below our hips. We want a nice, straight, elongated spine. We can inhale and expand our hearts. Exhale, relax the shoulders. We can root our tailbone into the earth. Just settling into our easy seated position here, Sukhasana. Go ahead and close your eyes. And just notice your natural breathing pattern. Noticing the breath as it comes in and out of the nostrils. And just enjoying your moment of stillness here. Let's just take a moment of gratitude. Thank yourself for coming to your mat and practicing yoga today. And we can set an intention or a prayer for the practice. Please allow us to use our bodies and our breath to initiate not only self-healing, but for healing for the whole world and all living beings. Okay, we can open our eyes. I'm going to teach what's called opposite nostril breathing today. So there's two different ways that we can do it. Today we're going to focus on inhaling through the right nostril and exhaling through the left. This is going to stimulate the sun energy within us. If we were to do it reverse and inhale through the left and exhale through the right, that would be stimulating our inner moon energy. So the sun's energy is very hot. It's very active. Um, very awakening, whereas the moon is more calming, cooling, condensing. So this would be a good practice to do when you're about to start your day, you have a long list of um, activities you want to do, work on your projects, this would be a good morning practice. So when we do opposite nostril breathing, you're going to take the thumb of your right hand and place it over, oh sorry, you're going to take the thumb of your left hand, place it on your left nostril, so that you're inhaling through the right. And then you're going to take the middle finger of your right of your left hand and put it on your right nostril so that you're exhaling through the left. So go ahead and try a couple of those. Left thumb to left nostril, inhaling through the right. Middle finger to right nostril, exhaling through the left. Inhaling through the right, exhaling through the left. Go ahead and just do a couple of those at your own breathing pace. Inhaling right, exhaling left. And what's interesting is when we inhale through our right nostril, we're actually stimulating the left half of our brain. The left half of your brain is associated with logic and masculinity. When we inhale through our left nostril, we're actually stimulating the right half of our brain. And the right half of the brain is associated with feminine nurturing energy. 
And now bringing the hands to the knees, palms facing down. Go ahead and just take a few deep breaths in both nostrils to find our equilibrium again. now. You can go ahead and remove your pillow or your blankets. We're going to start on our hands and knees. So we want nice wide hands on our yoga mat, pressing all of our finger pads into the earth to give us support and stability. We want the shoulders over the wrists and the knees just slightly behind the hips. Draw the hips back, coming into a child's pose. Nice relaxing, restorative pose here. Go ahead and let the head hang heavy, maybe even rest it on your mat. Just a few deep breaths in child's pose. Feeling the earth support us. Now go ahead and shift the weight to the front of your mat. We're going to come into an upward facing dog. So our feet are flat, toenails pressing into the mat. Heart is forward, shoulders are down. Upward facing dog. And then coming back onto the hands and knees, rolling through the spine, coming back into a child's pose. And we're just going to flow through that a couple times. So inhale. Pull through, pushing the floor away, coming into upward facing dog. Exhale, push the floor away, roll the spine, child's pose. Inhale, coming through, pushing up, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll through the back, child's pose. And just two more, your own breathing pace. Inhaling forwards. Exhaling back. What I really love about yoga and moving the body with the breath is that every time we inhale, we expand, and exhale, we contract. And it's when we realize how connected we are to the universe because it, in, it inhales and exhales, it expands and contracts. So the more we realize we're part of nature and the universe, we can tap into that energy of the sun or the moon. Okay, so coming back to neutral spine here in tabletop, we're going to tuck our toes, have nice strong hands, push the floor away, bring the hips to the sky for downward facing dog. And go ahead and pedal out the feet here. Whatever feels good, just stretching out the calves, bending the knees, maybe swaying the hips from side to side. And then just finding a moment of stillness in our down dog. On your next inhale, we're going to lift our right leg up, back and behind us, straight and strong. And we're going to exhale and tuck our knee to nose, curving our back and pushing the floor away. So we're going to do that a couple times. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, tuck knee to nose. Inhale. Reaching the leg up and back, and exhale, knee to nose. This time, inhaling, reaching our right leg up and back, we're going to exhale and bring the knee to the outside of our elbow. Inhale, reach the leg up and back, and exhale, go ahead and place that foot on the outside of the right hand. So this is lizard pose. We're going to hold here for a few breaths. Keeping a nice engaged core, all of our muscles are activated, pushing the floor away, keeping the head an extension of the spine. 
And you can go ahead and lower that back left knee, untuck the toes, and you should feel a nice stretch here in the left hip. And then taking it a step further, if you feel like you can get more of a stretch, try going down onto your forearms. If that's too much for you, you can just stay right back up on your hands. If you're at your forearms, you might notice your right knee wants to tip outward, and that's okay. You can allow the right knee to tip outward, and you can have um, the weight of your foot, your right foot, be on the outer edge. So just holding in whichever variation of lizard feels more comfortable for you today. And then we inhale. We can sit a little bit deeper into the stretch. Exhaling, releasing energies which are no longer serving us. Good. Okay, coming back up onto our hands, tuck the toe, back up to lizard, and step back to down dog. This time we're going to do the left leg. So inhale the left leg up and back. Exhale, tuck knee to nose. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reaching the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. This time, inhaling our leg up and back. We're going to exhale, bring knee to the elbow. Inhale, lifting the left leg up and back. And exhale, go ahead and step it to the outside of your left hand here. So now we're in our left lizard. Again, keeping that core engaged, pushing the floor away. Nice active muscles. You can go ahead and drop the back right knee and untuck the toes. Feeling that nice right hip stretch. And then to take it a step further, you can try and go onto the forearms. Again, it's okay if your left knee tips out here and you can be on the outer edge of your left foot. Or if it's more comfortable to stay pressing up with your hands, that's okay too. Just holding our lizard for a few breaths. tuck the toe, come back up onto the leg, and step back to down dog. So we're going to inhale, rolling through the spine, onto the balls of the feet, shifting the weight forward. You're going to bend your knees, look forward, and take a step to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart, Tadasana. Okay, so let's just get centered here in our mountain pose, Tadasana. We're going to root our feet into the earth, feeling the earth's energy come up through our legs, giving us strength and stability. Inhale, expand the heart. Exhale, relaxing the shoulders. Feeling the crown of the head reach towards the sky with an equal and opposite force of our feet rooting into the earth. Our palms come to our side, taking a nice big inhale, and exhale in our mountain pose. So let's go through a couple cycles of sun salutations. Inhale, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach the arms up, looking up. And exhale, hands to heart. Good, let's go again, maybe adding a little bit on this time. So inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place our hands mindfully, step back to down dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, pull it through in between your hands to the front of your mat. We're 
We're going to pivot the back heel down. Inhale, reach the arms up for warrior one. Exhale, place the hands back down and step back to downward facing dog. This time, inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, pull it through in between your hands to the front of your mat. Pivot the right heel down. Inhale, reach the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands back down and stepping back to down dog. And we can just hold here for a few breaths. Feeling the body nice and warmed up here. And we can see how those warm ups of tucking our knee and nose really help when we pull our leg through for our sun salutations to warrior one. Okay, on your next inhale, we're gonna roll through the spine, coming onto the balls of the feet. Shift the weight to the front of your mat, bringing your heart forward into plank. Exhale, lower to the earth for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, tuck the toes back to down dog. And again, holding for a couple breaths here. This time we're going to inhale, roll through the spine, come onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look forward, take a step to the front of your mat, inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart, Tadasana. Okay, so now let's go through that same sun citation sequence at the beginning, but this time we're going to add on a couple different poses in the middle of it. So rooting our feet into the earth. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands mindfully. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, pull it through to the front of your mat. And this time we're going to pause here. We're going to find some stability in this lunge. So go ahead and bring your hands to your thigh, balancing on the back ball of your left foot. And just holding here, we're going to inhale and reach the arms up for a high lunge. Exhaling. Go ahead and place your hands back down to frame your front foot in the lunge. We're going to root this left hand into the mat and we're going to exhale, open up the right hand towards the sky for a twisting lunge. So our heart is facing to the right side. We're nice and opened up here. I'm just holding for a breath or two. Good. Go ahead and frame the front foot. Now we're going to push the floor away, scooching the back foot in to come into a pyramid pose. So if you have your blocks or your books, go ahead and grab those. We're just going to get a nice hamstring and calf stretch here. So we're going to put these blocks on either side of our front right foot. Our feet are parallel. They're about three, three or four feet apart, depending on how long your legs are. And we're just folding forward, pressing our hands into the blocks for support, getting a nice stretch in both of our legs here, but mostly the right leg. We can practice having a flat spine, or you can bring the head closer to the knee. Whichever one feels more comfortable for you. Okay, so go ahead and take your blocks or books and move them off to the side. Bring your hands to your hips and stand up. We're going to pivot the feet to face the side of your mat. Our feet are going to be parallel. So a nice wide-legged stance here. Go ahead and inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're going to bend the knees, coming into a goddess pose. And we're just going to do a couple expanding and contracting movements like that. So inhale, reaching out, five-pointed star. Exhale, goddess pose. Inhale, reaching out. Exhale, squatting down. 
Inhale, expand. And exhale, contract. So let's hold this goddess pose for a little bit here. We're going to have our knees pointed out with our feet. We can bring our hands to our hips. Go ahead and try and practice just coming up onto one toe, flattening, and then onto the other toe. So we do this a couple times. If this feels like too much work for you, try bringing your hands to your thighs. That'll give you a little bit more support. Just alternating one foot and then the other. Now come, try to come up onto both toes. Balancing for a moment or two, placing back down. Staying with the breath here. And back down. Good, okay, straighten the legs. Bring your hands to your hips and take a forward fold. You can bring your feet parallel again for this. Good, now place your hands on your mat, bending your knees, so taking a nice big squat, and then go ahead and push the floor away and straighten the legs just as far as we'll go. Maybe they're not perfectly straight, but this should give us a nice hamstring stretch. So go ahead and bend and straighten. Inhaling, bending the knees, exhaling, straighten. Last time, inhale, bend, and exhale, straighten. Good. You can bring your hands to your hips and come up. Now we're going to do our pyramid pose on the other side. So go ahead and grab those blocks. We're going to face the other side of our mat, feet are parallel, placing the blocks on either side of our left foot this time. And then go ahead and just take in a nice big stretch here, placing both hands flat on the blocks. You can try to put your knee to your nose, or maybe you keep a flat spine here. Whichever feels more comfortable for your practice today. Good. Okay, go ahead and move those off to the side. Frame the front foot and step back. Widen your stance to a low lunge. So this time we're going to plant our uh, right arm into the mat and open up our left arm for a um, twisting lunge. So just like we did on the other side, holding for a couple breaths here, really expanding the chest, opening up to all the possibilities of our day. Good. Go ahead and frame the front foot. And then we're going to step back to downward facing dog. Okay, from here we're going to inhale, roll onto the balls of the feet, shift the weight forward, coming into a plank. Exhale, lowering to the earth, chaturanga. Stretching those legs behind you, pushing the floor away, inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, tucking the toes, coming back to down dog. Last time, inhaling, rolling onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, looking forward, taking a step to the front of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up, and exhale, hands to heart, Tadasana. Okay, to finish off here, we're just going to take a seat on our mat and do some supine work. Okay, so go ahead and have your legs out straight in front of you. You can have your feet flexed, use your hands to help find your balance here, give you some support. You go ahead and inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, we're going to fold forward, reaching towards the hands, 
or so, reaching towards our feet. But we want to try and keep a nice lumbar curve in our spine here. We don't want to be all hunched over. We want to try and keep a nice flat back. So you're really thinking about tucking the tummy in and folding over rather than just, you know, reaching for the feet. So if you don't get to the feet, that's okay. Maybe taking the sides of the shins and helping, using that to help pull you closer towards your legs. If you can grab there, maybe reaching for the ankles, but just keep checking every step of the way. Is my back still flat? Do I have that lumbar curve? And if you can reach, you wanna grab the outsides of your feet and you can pull, pull your feet towards you, bending your elbows for a nice forward fold. I'm gonna just hold for a couple breaths here. shake your legs out. We did a lot of leg work, a lot of leg stretching today. You can do some body drumming. That'll help wake up your chakras and your meridians. Just drumming all up and down the legs. Maybe doing the top of the head, stimulating the crown chakra. The sides, maybe on the temples, on your throat chakra, drumming on the heart and the chest, up and down the arms. Good, just let it all out. Okay, from here we're just going to stretch our legs nice and long and sit back, laying on our backs nice and flat here. Go ahead and take your right leg up, bending the knee, meeting your left hand, and, and just pulling it over for a nice side stretch, allowing the body to tip over to the left side, extending the right arm off to your right, and gazing to your side. Good, coming back to center. This time lifting the left leg, bending the knee, taking the right hand to the knee, and stretching over to the right side. Allowing the body to spill to the right. As we look to the left, past our left hand, reaching out. You might feel your back crack a couple times. <laughs> And back to center. Then go ahead and take your knees and give them a big old hug. Rolling around on the spine. Maybe doing some rocking back and forth, figure eighting. And then releasing the legs, lying flat on our back. Take a few moments of stillness and silence for Shavasana, deep relaxation. Just focusing on the breath here, allowing the body to sink into the earth, feeling all the muscles relax down. Allowing the muscles in the face to become heavy just resting here for a few moments. If your mind wanders at all, that's okay. Gently bringing our attention back to the breath. Just staying in this present moment, allowing our bodies to rest and heal.
bringing our minds back, gently wiggling the toes and the fingers, shifting the head from side to side, grabbing the knees once more, hugging them in towards the chest, and then go ahead and fall onto one side, laying in a fetal position. Resting here for a moment. Whenever you're ready, pushing the floor away, allowing the head to hang heavy. Coming back into seated position here, Sukhasana. Thank you for joining me today. We're just going to end with a few deep breaths and end on the sound of Om. So placing your hands on your heart, inhaling deeply, exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. Last time, inhaling, preparing for Om. Inhale. Oh. Namaste. Hopefully you have some nice activated sun energy for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you next week.